Hello, good morning viewers. Still on solving problems that are related to number-based system. Today we are going to look on to the equations involved in number-based system. So now without wasting much time, let us start with the very first question. The first question says if 4,321, which is a number in base 7, plus 1,234, also in base 7, plus another unknown number in base 7 equals 12,341 in base 7. We are asked to find this unknown number. To do so, uh, since if we add all these three together, we are going to obtain this. We only have one unknown. We are free to join these two together. Whatever we obtain, we remove it out of this solution to obtain our corresponding value of unknown. So now let us start with these two. If we add them together, 1 plus 4 is 5. You know you are not going to include number that is equal to the base or greater than the base, but 5 is less than the base. 2 plus 3 is also 5. 3 plus 2 is 5. 4 plus 1 is also 5. This is base 7. Now this is the solution after adding these two numbers together. To find x, we are going to remove this 555 into here. So we say 12,341 minus 5, 5, 5, 5. All these numbers are base 7. We are now subtracting. Whatever we obtain is the value of this unknown. 1 minus 5, you know definitely it cannot happen unless if you want to get a negative result. And hence we are going to borrow here. This is four bundles. Removing a single bundle, you will be left with three bundles. What is coming here is exactly equal to the base, 7. You bring it as 7. You join it with this one, it becomes 8. Then that 8 minus 5, you know, is 3. We have 3 here left. It cannot subtract 5 unless we borrow here. Taking away one bundle here, leaving 2. Bringing it here as 7 plus 3 will make it 10. And 10 minus 5 is 5. We have 2 here. It can subtract 5. We take away one bundle here, leaving 1. We bring it here as 7. Then 7 plus 2 is 9. Then that 9 minus 5 is 4. We have one bundle here which cannot subtract 5. We take away this bundle leaving nothing. We bring it here as 7 plus 1 is 8. And 8 minus 5 is 3 in base 7. So 3,453 is equal to this x. So finally we say x equal to 3. Four, five, three. On the standard equation, I always say it is half the answer. Do not include the base. Look at x is already in base 7. The question says find that x. So if you take this value, you replace it here, it will meet the base there. We are not asked to find x in particular base. We are only asked to find that x. So this is the value. Now let us look on to the next question. So here is our second question. It says if 231 in base n minus 143 in base n equal to 44 in base n, what is this base n? Since we don't know the base n, we can convert each of these numbers into base 10. So to convert this into base 10, we say 231 base n will be equal to um, 2 times the, the, the base n plus 3 times the base plus 1 times the base. You assign index 0, 1, and 2. n power 2 is still uh, n power 2 times 2 will give us 2 n power 2 n power 1 is n times 3 is 
3 n and lastly n power 0 is 1 times 1 is still 1 then we take the second one um, 1 4 3 base n equals 1 times n plus 4 times n plus 3 times n 0 1 2 n squared times 1 is still n squared n power 1 times 4 is 4n then n power 0 times 3 is 3 because n power 0 is 1 okay then the last one we have 44 44 this n will be equal to 4 times n plus 4 times n we have 0 and 1 n power 1 is n times 4 is equal to 4 n n power 0 is 1 times 4 is 4 now we can substitute back into the main equation for this one we have 231 base n is equal to this so we write that one 2 n power 2 plus 3 n plus 1 we subtract 143 base n is now equal to n squared um, plus 4 n plus 3 but this minus will affect each number there or each term so minus n squared minus 4 n the minus 3 they say this is equal to 44 in base n and 44 in base n is now 4n plus 4. Now we want to ensure we have everything to the, to the, to the left, but let us first of all simplify the left. 2n squared minus n squared is single n squared. 3n minus 4n is minus n. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. So we want to bring this ones inside. If they come in, they change their sign. Minus 4n, minus 4. The whole of this equal to 0. n squared, minus n, minus 4n is minus 5n. Minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6. The whole of this equal to 0. We can solve this quadratic equation by factorization. We are going to think of two numbers which when we multiply them together we get negative 6. And when added up together we get negative 5. So we have n here, we have n here. Therefore the numbers will be minus 6 and plus 1. Because this time this is minus 6 and this plus this is minus 5. If you set each of these factors to be equal to 0, the first factor n will be equal to if negative 6 crosses over equality sign it becomes positive 6 and the other one if positive 1 crosses over equality sign it becomes negative so we have negative 1. So these are the two possible solutions but remember n is base and we do not have a negative base and therefore, we say n equals 6 as our answer. Now let us look on to the next question. Our third question says, if 44 in base 5 minus 12 in base 3 equals m, we are asked to find this m in base 10. Since we are looking for m in base 10, we are free to convert each of these terms into base 10. The first one we have 44, this is 4 times 5, plus 4 times 5, 0 and 1. We subtract this one, we have 1 times 3, plus 2 times 3, 0 and 1. We simplify. 5 power 1 is 5 times 2 is 20. Pi power 0 is 1 times 4 is 4, minus. 3 power 1 is 3 times 1 is 3 plus 
3 power 0 is 1 times 2 is 2. This is equal to 24 minus 5 and this is equal to 19 which is the value of m and it is in base 10. Let us look on to the next question. Our fourth question says if 123 in base y equals 83 in base 10 we ask to find y. Since 83 is in base 10 we are free to change this one to base 10 and equate them together. This becomes 1 times y plus 2 times y plus 3 times y 0 1 and 2 the whole of this equal to 83 as required this is y squared plus this is 2y y to the power of 0 is 1 times 3 is 3 this is equal to 83 we can bring 83 backward and it becomes negative this is y squared plus 2 y plus 3 then minus 83 the whole of this equal to 0 y squared plus 2 y 3 minus 83 is negative 80 the all of this equal to 0 we have now formed a quadratic equation which we can solve by factorization we are going to think of two numbers which when we multiply them together we get negative 80 and when we add them together we get positive 2 the numbers are um, positive 10 and negative 8 because this time this is negative 80 and this minus this will give us 2 if you set this one to be equal to 0 u of 10 y equals negative 10 or if you set this to be 0 you get y equals positive 8 remember y is our base so we can take negative value and finally y equals 8 let us take another one so here is our last question. We are asked to simplify this square root of a number in base 2. And we want to even leave the answer in base 2. We know it is very difficult for us to take the square root of number in base 2. But we are free to convert that number into base 10. Take the square root, reconvert it back into base 2. Let us do that. We have 1, 0, 0, 1 in base 2. We want to change it to base 10. We take the first digit 1, we multiply by the base 2, plus 0 times 2, plus 0 times 2, plus the last one, 1 times 2, 0, 1, 2, 3. 2 power 3 is 8, times 1 is still 8. This will be 0, this will be 0. 2 power 0 is 1, times 1 is 1. This is equal to 9. So 1001 0, 0, 1 base 2 is the same thing as 9 in base 10. So we can see square root of 1001 0, 0, 1 base 2 is the same thing as square root of 9, which is equal to 3 in base 10. The square root of 1001 0, 0, 1 in base 2 is the same thing as 3 in base 10. But the question says we should leave the answer in base 2. So we will want to now convert 3 into base 2 by far forming a successive division of this number using 2. 2 can go into 3 one time, remainder 1, but 2 can no longer go into 1, we stop and take these values like this. So 3 in base 10 is equal to 1, 1 in base 2, which is our answer. So we can see now that the square root of uh, 1, 0, 0, 1 in base 2 is the same thing as 1, 1, 11 in base 2. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Thank you.